All right, Shalom, Shalom. I'd like to say all praises due to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rakaa Kadash, and double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to all you brothers teaching the truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the globe. All right, this is Tadi Yaf, GMS Boston, coming back real quick with a quick impromptu. All right, on the day that, uh, as you can see, Russia invades Ukraine. All right. And, uh, you know, I just want to say a couple of things. Uh, uh, pursuant to prophecy, prophecy, Salaki. And uh, what you see occurring in these pictures. All right. This is just the tip of the iceberg, so to speak. And we know that it's more to come. All right. This doesn't mean that it's deliverance. As the apostles have stated. As other uh, elders in GMS has stated. You know, this is just the beginning. All right. And even Yahweh Shai, the king of all kings, stated it as well. All right. So what you see is uh, Matthew 24 and 6. And it says, and you shall hear wars and rumors of war. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. All right. And the reason that that uh, that is uh, 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 but the end is not yet is put at the end, right? must come to pass because this happening right here is just going to ensue you know uh, Revelations the 13th chapter alright this right here is going to make the uh, the economy crash right where they're going to have to implement that MOTB alright and uh, <clears throat> these nations are going to have to choose sides with the EU and NATO, okay? Because this is this is pursuing. In the end, we know that Jeremiah fifty and fifty one is going to be the end result down the line, eventually, right? Matthew 24 and 7, it says, For the nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines, and pestilence, and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. Okay? And as you see, it said, all these are the beginning of sorrows. So this, this uh, thing that's happening over here in the Ukraine, it's just the beginning. Like I said, the tip of the iceberg. As stated by Yahweh Shai, okay. And what you're gonna see in times coming up, and I know uh, just at my job alone, it's a, a memo being circulated by a distribution company saying that uh, you know that truckers convoy is on the way to Washington and it will cause more uh, shortages and deliver delivery upsets okay and like it says and there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places earthquakes are happening more rampant now all right it just lifted you know what and you know you know who already released a, a, a new drop date, okay, for more of this right here, all right, we've been, been in a loop, so you know, so this, the Lord, this is the year of the turn up, the Lord is really uh, putting the flame on high, and then when you look around uh, the nation of Israel, 
what you see is uh <laughs> these guys uh what can I say these guys uh wasting time like they got it you know right and this this is goes into the five foolish virgins all right more bug outs more people teaching wayward doctrines okay this is the part of the the uh the end time prophecies okay christianity is dead all right so it's happening man ripple effects fell in north carolina of russian ukraine invasion see so that's going to cause you know an offset of things to happen famines pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places and like i said earthquakes been happening all along okay a multitude of earthquakes now forget the name of the website that shows you all right in what places earthquakes have been happening but famines this is what this is going to cause right north carolina and russia ukraine invasion ripple effects so this is definitely go time all right and the brothers uh, uh that that roller coaster ride has started all right so to speak <coughs> this real quick it comes up Rocky. This is Luke twenty one. Well, I saw that seven. All right. Luke twenty one and seven. All right, it's in and, and they asked him saying, Master, but when shall these things be? And what sign will there be when these things shall come to pass? Right? And the first sign is those wars and rumors of wars, ripple effects in North Carolina of Russian Ukraine invasion, trucking truck um, convoys. Right? This is, this is what we're starting to see, man. All this stuff is going to be pulled together to cause that, that great tribulation. And then the word of the Heavenly Father is being pushed in such a way that these devils want to put their hands on us. Okay? And it says, uh, Luke 21 and 8, it says, And he said, Take heed that ye be not deceived, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am the anointed, Mashiach. Okay? And the time draweth near. Go ye not therefore after them. Right? Because that's what uh, you got these uh, wayward doctrine teaching uh, Israel, Israelites doing, okay? So that you can follow them for uh, 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 filthy lucre's sake, all right? Saying that they have the truth and they have nothing. So you got to be careful, man. 
Cause this, this, that, them doing that false prophecy stuff means that this time it's getting closer. All right. It says, but when ye shall hear wars and commotions, be not terrified, for these things must first come to pass, but the end is not by and by. Right. Just like uh, it said in um. Matthew's twenty fourth chapter. It says, Then said he unto them, Nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and great earthquakes shall be in diverse places, and famines and pestilence and fearful sights, and great signs shall be there there be from heaven. But before all these they shall lay their hands on you. See? This is where it changes again. Alright. Like I said, this all these uh prophecies coming true and us telling you or warning you about them it's going to make these devils come and that's that's the that's the second part of it okay first MOTB then these uh, uh these wars and rumors of war and then they shall lay their hands on you and persecute you delivering you up to the synagogues and into prisons being brought before kings and rulers for my name's sake and it shall turn to you and it shall turn to you for a testimony. Okay? And that's what we're giving. We're giving our testimony right now. But these devils are going to want to know how did we get to this conclusion before it even happened. And this is how we get into it because of the word of the Heavenly Father. Okay? Some men are really down here prophesying and doing the job that the Heavenly Father left behind for us to do. Okay. It's all through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. It's a beautiful thing, man. You know? And it's just going to get more and more turned up. These uh, scoffers, so to speak. Now they're about to experience the, the majesty of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Okay? Through the words that the men of the Lord are speaking. And it's all about to happen here. Okay. Next up. Famine world. Okay. For you scoffers. Then after that. Death by pain. Okay. So get ready man. The ride just started. And for all, all you. Uh, people that think you're in the truth man. Now is the time. That you're about to see where once this ride starts, <laughs> you know, there's no turning back. We're going to find out who's in the truth or who's going to fall out the roller coaster as we go along. All right. But I just wanted to bring that out real quick, man. It's a beautiful time. You can see the prophecies popping off the page. And it should be a fearful time. When I say fearful, it's fearful that you don't go astray from the word of the Heavenly Father. Not fearful of what's going on because knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of our time, man. And that's all we got, man. We don't have nothing else. We have the knowledge and wisdom of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, which are in the, between the uh, covers of the Holy Scriptures. And that's that. So with that, I want to say all praises due to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim Rakakadash, and double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom, Ababa.